Hey, a lot of you guys out there think I look like WWE wrestling champ Diamond Dallas Page. I don't think a day goes by that I don't see at least one comment about that. But what does Diamond Dallas Page think? I've got the answer to that diamond cutter of a mystery, plus the answers to a whole bunch of other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. Like this picture of an oddball creature that looks like a hamster wearing battle armor. A photo claiming to show a man who chopped off his ears because he wanted to look more like a parrot. A photo that claims to show a volcano photographer with his shoes and tripod on fire. And that doesn't even include the big story this week, which is a photo, and get this, that claims to show a creature that is half alligator and half human. Is there any way this could be real? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, I see a lot of hybrid creatures come in the door week after week, but I gotta tell you, I have never seen anything like this. It shows what is described as a half alligator, half human mummy. The photo was sent in by T6 Revolution, Michael Barsoom, and QQ, just to name a few. All of them want to know, hey Bill, is this picture for real? Well guys, all I can say is, anything is possible, right? So why don't we channel our inner Indiana Jones and see what we can find out. The first thing we will do is take a closer look at the picture itself. It has the head of a human, but the body of an alligator. His hands and arms look almost human, but his rear legs appear to be more animal-like. From the color and appearance of the body, it appears to be mummified or at least completely dried out and very old. At this point, I was all ready to ask you guys to join me in a huge chorus of So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! But then I read this newspaper article that said it's real. According to the article published in 1993, the half alligator, half human creature was captured alive in a Florida swamp and studied by scientists. When I first saw it, I half expected it to talk to me, said herpetologist Dr. Simon Shoup. Instead, it hissed, just as any alligator would when threatened. Except for the tail that grows out of its lower quadrant, it looks as human as any modern man. Hmm, this one's a little bit weird because, you know, on the one hand, my instincts are just screaming out, BFF! But then, on the other hand, you know, there are real life examples of some really weird hybrids. Like this half pig, half human creature found in Asia. And hey, don't forget, they found this thing in the Everglades, which is a place filled with all sorts of stuff we haven't even discovered yet. So what are you guys thinking out there? Are you thinking maybe this is some kind of hoax cooked up by some crazy hillbillies? Or maybe this is just some bizarre creature that also happens to be real? Or, you know, there's always that third option, and can I say it? You know, the U word, as in unknown, could be. But I'll tell you what, we're not gonna know until I open up this, which is the official answer. But if you watch this show, you know there's no way you're gonna find out what's in here until I find out what you got going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go, and this is the quickest and simplest, is just to vote right up there. You ready? And go. Hey, while you guys are voting today, I just wanted to bring up a little something that I've been seeing in the comments section lately, and that is a lot of people saying that I happen to look like DDP, the famous wrestler, you know? Well, guess what? I got Diamond Dallas Page right here, and we're gonna be talking to him today. How you doing? Hey! What's <laughs> up, man? <laughs> hey, wow, it's great. You want me to turn it up, turn it up like this? Yeah, yeah, I think that yeah, I think that'll help a little bit better. So anyway, listen, people are saying that you and I look alike, or at least they're saying I look like you. I I take it you haven't had too many people say you look like that guy on Bill's channel. You know, I think there's been a couple people who might have been whispering it behind my back, but no one's ever said it to my face. Give me that Pooh Man Chew uh, goatee you got going there, bro. <laughs> 
Hey, it just means you're a handsome dude just like me. What are you worried about? Hey, rugged and handsome, bro. That's all you got to look at. He gets knocked down. I'm not quite sure if we figured out whether he looks like me or I look like him, but I'm going to be coming back to my conversation with DDP in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's go over a couple other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. First up is this photo claiming to show a strange creature that looks like a hamster with a full suit of body armor. It was posted to my Facebook page by Langfam79, who just wants to know, what is this? Well, Langfam, now to me, it looks like a special effects model for a new robo hamster, which turns out to be incredibly wrong because it's real. As Facebook first responder Elizabeth I.R. Turnold pointed out, this lovable little guy is a pink fairy armadillo. Also known as a Pichesiego, it is the smallest known species of armadillo, ranging in size from 9 to 12 centimeters or 3.5 to 5 inches long. It is the only species of armadillo that has a shell almost completely separate from its body. Which means if you ever want an armadillo on the half shell, this wouldn't be too hard to cook up if you know what I mean. But come on, who's going to eat these things? They're just way too cute. Next up is this photo that claims to show a man who actually chopped off his ears so he could look more like his pet parrots. It was sent in by Slizzard333, who just wrote, real or not. Now, I gotta tell you, you know, I can see somebody wanting to look like their pet, but you know, a lot of people, that happens to them just naturally. This example is really extreme. So I, I don't know, how did you guys vote? Did you vote real? Did you vote fake? Well, let's find out. If you voted real or fake, you would be more correct if you voted real. Body modification enthusiast Ted Richards from Bristol, England had both ears removed by a surgeon, his eyeballs dyed, and horns inserted into his head to make himself look more like his beloved birds. But in okay. fairness, Ted, the more you look like a parrot, the happier you become. Oh yeah, I know, oh yeah. He also officially changed his name to get this, Ted Parrotman. Which brings up the thought, if you wanted to look more like an animal, which animal would you want to look more like? Why don't you leave me your answer in the comment section because I really want to know. Our final entry today is this amazing shot of what looks like a photographer whose feet and camera gear are literally on fire as he takes photos of burning hot lava. It was posted to my Facebook page by many, many people, including Joanne Rodart, Siggio93, and Monica Milosovokia. Sovokia, or something like that. Anyway, Joan wrote, Bill, no way this photo is real, right? Well, Joanne, while we're waiting for everybody to vote, I just want to let you know that I've been to this volcano and I've stood on those rocks and they are very hot. But are they hot enough to make your clothes spontaneously combust? Well, it's possible, which means this photo is possibly real. And the real answer is fake. The guy in the photo is Kawika Singson, an extreme hiker and landscape photographer based in Hawaii. Although Sing Sun insists the lava and flames were real, he later admitted he used some lighter fluid to start the fire on his body and had a friend take the picture. Good way to get noticed, but hey, do me a favor, don't ever try this yourself. I mean, not only is it extremely dangerous, but it's also really stupid. I mean, this guy could have ended up in the hospital if anything went wrong. So please, don't. Okay? Don't. Okay, now that we've answered those burning questions, what do you say we get back to the big story and find out whether there's really a mummy that is half alligator and half human? I mean, you know, I know what I'm thinking, and, you know, just between you and me, it doesn't start with an R, okay? I mean, let's see if my instincts are right. Let's see. Uh, the photo claiming to show photographic evidence of a half man and half alligator have been carefully and thoroughly investigated by the Bill's Channel fact-checking team. Now, based on the careful analysis of all the evidence at our disposal, including the opinions of many experts, we have reached a decision. And the decision is, 
Uh-oh. Maybe my instincts were not so right after all. Unknown. Oh, you know how much I hate those unknowns, but come on, judges. That thing is so fake. I mean, that thing is faker than GoPro or even Cat Kid. But what am I gonna do, you know? I'm kind of helpless here. So the only thing I can do is tell you why it's an unknown, which, you know, actually is kind of interesting. And then right after that, I'm gonna be coming back to finish my conversation with Diamond Dallas Page. So don't go away. What we're looking at here is Jake the Alligator Man, which is the star attraction at a roadside tourist trap in Washington State. It was purchased from an antiques dealer in 1965 for $750. Since then, Jake has become a cult celebrity with his own fan club and yearly birthday parties that include Bride of Jake contests. But one thing nobody seems to know, and you can check on me, Nobody knows who created Jake. The late Junior Marsh, who bought Jake from the antique dealer, said he didn't know who created Jake, and he didn't really care. He liked the mystery. And that, my friends, is why Jake the Alligator Man must remain unknown. Now, if any of you super sleuths out there, and I know there's a lot of you guys because I see what you're saying in the comments sometimes and it really blows my mind how smart you are. If any of you guys are able to come up with any solid information about who created Jake, you know, I mean, taxidermist, sculptor, entity, we don't even know. But if you could get that information to me and I can verify it, then we can change the status back to something a little bit more solid, okay? Hey, before we finish up today, I just want to get back to my conversation with Diamond Dallas Page, who, it turns out, is doing all these amazing things to make the world a better place, and he has his own app. You know, I, 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 I ran across your app online, and you're actually doing a lot of yoga these days. Not yoga, bro. DDP, see it? DDP yoga, or getting better known as DDPY, because I actually really developed this for people who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga. You know, I gotta tell you, you know, I kind of went to the app just expecting it to be, you know, yoga lessons or something like that. But you got a whole world in there. You talk about food, you show some cooking, and what I like the most were just, you know, when you come on and you just give people your philosophy, which is, you know, kind of a get it done, get over it, and get out there kind of attitude, which I found really, to use a big word, inspiring. Awesome, you know, because every Monday, you know, I've got Motivational Mondays. Every week, there's a different story I've got for people. So there's over a hundred of those up there. Well, that's just terrific. So where can people go to get this app? Well, everything, everything is at ddpyoga.com. Or they can go on Google Play or, or, uh, or uh, iTunes and pick it up there. All right, well, I'm going to be there checking it out. Listen, really appreciate you coming by today, stopping in on Bill's channel. And it's just good to know that I've got a guy out there that looks as good as I do. Hey, brother, here's looking at you. All right. <laughs>Okay. Well, that's all the time I have for this video. I want to send a big thanks out to all you guys for sending in all those crazy photos and videos that you send in every week. Also want to send a big thanks out to Diamond Dallas Page for being so generous with his time. Make sure to stop by his website and his app and check it out because I'm telling you, there's something about DDP. He just makes you feel like you could conquer the planet. And if you don't believe me, I'm leaving a little link right down here in the description box. So hop on over and tell me if you don't feel more positive energy than a bowl of Cheerios. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because, you know, that's going to turn me into a mummy and I will spend eternity screaming, You're driving me crazy! See you next time. Hi. Hi, Bill. This is Todd. It's Cole. Sabrina. And we love your channel. We love everything you upload, 
and we're always looking forward to a new video.